I'm gonna jump over the net. No, 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 no. Don't jump over the net. Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a new video. And today for you guys, we are gonna be reacting to Jaden Animation's old video from a long time ago called School Stories. Hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show. It really does mean a lot to me. Leave a comment down below if you guys want me to react to in the future. But that being said, that's all I got for you guys. So let's get right into the video. I just recently realized that the majority of my school days are over. I don't know about oh. anyone else, but I oh, used this to a while ago then. <laughs> School's never gonna end. 12 years plus college is so long to spend just in school. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, it's practically over. And it's I'm like, out of school now, too, what? so. What happened? Like, no more school Wait, for me ever. I'm not ready to be an adult yet. And you know what else is scary? <laughs> I don't remember pretty much anything I learned from grade 6 up. It's just a jumble Ooh. of English papers and random history I didn't care about. I yeah. It's a question of the education system when you think about it. So, I don't yeah. remember a lot of the things I studied during school, but I do have a lot of dumb, random memories that I, for some reason, <laughs> haven't forgotten about over the years. For example, in first grade, I lost my front left tooth in the middle of class and Ooh. started bleeding all uh, the time. I remember losing my teeth in school, in though. Of class Honestly, I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> one of those it was weird. those little teeth envelopes to hold the tooth I just spat out. I don't know if schools still use those, but they were the funniest concept to me. Like, you come home, oh, mom, you got mail. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's my not teeth. much. It's just my freaking gross saliva-covered baby tooth I ripped out of my head in the middle of school. <laughs> Does school still do this? I yes. Don't know. I think they I do. So. Oh, Jane, I wouldn't know, actually. Memory. I bet you don't remember what you were learning about while you bled on everything. Nope, you're wrong. We were learning about emperor penguins. Thanks for nice. remembering all those important details, brain. I appreciate you. <laughs> Why is the brain so smush? Will kind of fit into a category. Athletes, popular kids, nerds, anime nerds, emos, <laughs> you name them. What kind of kid was I in school? You guessed it. The quiet one who never talked at all. Growing oh, up, nice. I was a shy, you just like me quiet person, <laughs> and I always only had one or two friends in the class, if any. I mean, I'm still pretty reserved, but I mean, <laughs> that's another point. I was so <laughs> shy that one time my nose started bleeding randomly in the middle of a class, and I was too quiet to get Why up and always excuse in class? myself to go to the bathroom or the nurse. So I said, I mean, at least from her head, I guess. Oh, this is crazy. To get permission to leave, and you know what happened? The teacher took five minutes to call on me. I spent five <laughs> minutes panicking, trying my best not to bleed on anything. Dang. Uh, looking back, there was a lot of blood involved in these memories. Ooh, That's what uh, I'm saying. One time, a teacher asked the class a question, and a few people raised their hand, but as he was looking around the room, we made eye contact. Oh. Jaden. Crap. Everyone it's like you can't knows, make eye contact, but you also can't completely don't avoid make them. Eye contact. It's school 101. I, yeah. I don't know. He went on to someone else who had their hand raised, which he should have done in the first place. If someone doesn't have <laughs> their hand raised, it means they don't have the answer. Don't be mad when you call on someone without their hand raised and they don't have the <laughs> answer. So he continued his lecture and I started calming down from the surprise spotlight. But okay. a few minutes later, he had another question. Can anyone define a peninsula? Oh, I know what a peninsula is. Well, I can't do that is. now. I don't know how to describe it, so <laughs> I won't raise my hand. Jaden! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are you actually trying to give me a seizure? Yes, I, I, he is. I don't, do you know? No, but, no, well, I, I mean, yes, I, I know what it is. Then he yelled, then tell me! The class oh laughed because he was being sarcastic. I thought it was funny too, but for some reason I almost started crying. Oh. He didn't call on me the rest of the year. Alongside being oh. a child, I was also known as being the art kid. I think everyone who likes artsy to draw. in school can relate. Whenever someone found out you like to draw, it would immediately turn to, You like to draw? <laughs> can you draw me? And the answer would always be, <laughs> Anyway, like the nice nah. way of saying, <laughs> That's a silly question. No, of course I don't want to draw you. And several nice. years later to this day, people are still asking me if I would draw them things. And the oh answer my gosh. still, <laughs> No. In my middle school art class, it's kind of crazy. School, this is from like six years ago, guys. So year art old video. Not a drawing contest, but uh, who's the most passionate about art and is most likely going to do something with it in their life and not just drop <laughs> it and get a day job sitting in a cubicle all day? Nice contest. Me having pretty much zero self confidence, already accepted the fact that someone else would get it. I wasn't sad or anything. I just knew in my head people weren't going to vote for me because uh -oh. one, I never really talked to people, and it was a class vote, and two, I don't know. I just didn't think I was good enough. But to my surprise, I actually won. I was oh. so startled when the teacher called my name. Like, what? Nice. <laughs> Me? Are, are you sure you don't want to count the votes again? <laughs> Kathy's pretty good. Everyone likes Kathy. Fucking Kathy. And <laughs> high school happened. And I met my high school art teacher. This guy was... I don't know how to describe him. I've never met someone so... 
psychopathic to start. Oh, he gosh. Has obsession with Pirates of the Caribbean. And okay. even though there's nothing wrong with that, I mean, everyone has their fandoms. He would sit back at his desk and blast different remixes of the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. What? When we were all trying to draw, he would hop up onto desks and scream, Swing your sword! While whirling around a golf course. <laughs> the first came to the end of it. No one knew what he meant. I don't know why the animation reminds me of Domix. I don't know. If, <laughs> can you guys relate to that? I don't know. A bit of a safety hazard, if you ask me, but again, no one questioned him. And one time on a random day of class, like just that one frame hey, reminded me of Domix. <laughs> He burst through the door, <laughs> dressed up completely like a pirate, screaming in people's faces, Bro, and insane. running around like a crackpot. I didn't take <laughs> class anymore. But that was not the end of Mr. Captain Jack Sparrow. Nope. You know why? Oh? Because he was one of the tennis coaches. Yep. Oh, gosh. And you all know who was on the tennis team. It wasn't that bad because he coached the boys' team. His ex-wife coached the girls. She got fired later on for sleeping with the track teacher. But this Ew! About her. So he beat her while we were on the next court with her own drills. And one practice, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden he got super hyped out of nowhere and started yelling and making a commotion. And we all kind of just stopped and looked over at him like, okay, what's he doing? And then he started yelling, I'm gonna jump over the net! No, and no, 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 no. Don't jump over the net. We were all just standing there like, what the heck is going on? And then no. he started running to actually do it. And you know Why? what happened? He safely jumped over the net. No. Uh, wrong. His foot caught the top of, of it. Of course it, it did. And it at him face first into the concrete. Uh, I knew it. You need to take him to the doctor. And she's like, nah, he's fine. Like, no, seriously, he could have a concussion. That was a hard hit. He's all right. He'll shake it off. No. Dude, so his ex-wife took him to the doctor, and we all just stood around for a while. I don't think he had a concussion, but he did get two black eyes and had to wear sunglasses in class for, like, a month. And okay. that was cool for me. There you go. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to share your school stories down in the comments, but that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.